when we talked earlier, I thought it was super funny how you said there's a little bit of a lack of transparency when you look at different blog posts on ML ops right now, or you look at people explaining how they're putting things into production. Can you go into that a bit more in depth for us? Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, it, it's, it's, it's kind of um, the way that I feel it's that most of the, the things that are uh, published right now in terms of machine learning uh, suffers a very huge uh, survivorship bias, you know, like uh, we just see the, the shiny stories like, okay, I implemented machine learning in my company and we earned uh, $2,000 uh, $2, uh, per minute or something like that, or we, or we have the the latest framework that solve all the problems of the universe, very shiny cases and so on. But as long as we just highlight these aspects, uh, one thing that I think for me it's missing is that um, what's the story of the guys that failed or what the stories of the guys that are, are right now in the trenches suffering to put some, some those systems in production right now? Because as we discussed before, uh, in, in a, for every winner that we have, big big tech companies, Airbnb, Uber, and so on, we have a very big trail of, of guys that did not survive, you know, like some death march projects in machine learning or some kind of delusions with machine learning or teams that uh, were completely fired, for example, or, or, or machine learning systems that were replaced with, with the rules and some, some point and stuff like that. And uh, my point is that it's super cool to see those, those, those posts in Hacker News or Medium blog posts or personal blog posts that, okay, so we put the system production and so on. But one thing that I think it's, it bothers me and uh, it's related with, this, with the high stakes uh, uh, machine learning talk that we are discussing right now, it's that let's, let's uh, study a little bit more about uh, the bad cases, that, the cases that fail or uh, how the, those machine learning uh, 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 um, projects are suffering most, you know, in terms of deployment. So how, 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 looks, how looks like your deployment? How looks like your code review? How looks like your data or code management or exper experiment and tracking, you know? So, and no one's discuss about this. Everyone discuss only about this a very uh, 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 bright side of all those, all those new technologies. Of course, this is part of the hype, of course, but if you're talking about something that needs to take a little bit seriously in terms of put things in production that uh, can be uh, can be reliable in certain way, uh, we should discuss about the, the, the bad things also. So that's my that's the, the way that I feel.